राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे हरे
，如果我们要永远是快乐、永不受苦，那么我们就应该对 k r i s h n 呢有奉献的情感，也就是呢 h a p 那么我们应该聆听 k r i s h n 的荣耀，也讲述他的、啊、荣耀，以及呢他甜美的骄傲时光。这就是呢 h a p p 奉爱一家。那么现在所进行的一切的话呢，都与这些东西无关的，因为瑜伽呢应该是两样东西的，就是一加一等于二，或者说四加五啊等于九，类似这样的加法。那么呢，不是呢是超然的，而我们个体灵魂也是超然的。那么这一种呢，两者两个超然东西的连接，那这就称为呢，就奉爱瑜伽。Those who have faith in hearing Hari Katha, for Bhakti Yoga, they should serve high class of devotees. Those who have realized supreme love, those who are always chanting Krishna's name with tears in his eyes. And we should be, we should be in Tirtha, Tirtha means in Vrindavan, in Odisha, or Nilachal Dham. There always so many sadhus are there practicing bhakti. By this, oh, they must will be, their soul will be must have. Then must pray to a bhakti. Oh, he just wrote. 那么在这个世界上，我们是很幸运的，可以聆听和讲述呢。k r i s h n a t a k a 呢，关于 k r i s h n a 的利益。那么在这个，我们应该去服务呢，哦，对 k r i s h n a 有品味的这些高阶的奉献者，并且呢，去聆听和唱诵圣礼，因为他们呢，对灵。他们总是唱诵圣名啊，对 Krishna 有内在的觉悟。那么在门扎本和在呢拉布的话呢，有很多这类型的圣人。那么只有服务他们的话呢，我们才得以呢哈有真正的快乐。嗯 So, Shula Gurudev has been explaining to us this subject matter of pure bhakti yoga. How our soul can unite with the supreme soul, Sri Krishna. One mic broken. Should be fixed. <coughs> so the the process of yoga, Shri Guru Dev explained that in this world, people that are practicing so-called yoga is mainly just physical exercises. <coughs> 实际上哈，现今世世界呢，他们所修习的瑜伽的话呢，哈，都是呢身体的活动。那么这是呢，哈，徐的部队呢指出来的。It is not actually 
yoga because the very word yoga means to unite together. But Shri Lagur they said, one plus one equals two. So what yoga actually refers to is the linking together, the uniting together of our soul, uh, which Srila Gurudev is saying is transcendental, and linking together with the Supreme Soul, Sri Krishna, who is the Supreme Transcendental. So the process of bhakti yoga is the process by which our soul will be united eternally with the Supreme Soul in transcendental bhakti, which means pure love and devotion. Now, in our present condition, we, we have so many impediments, so many obstacles, which are preventing our soul from connecting with the Supreme Being. Just like, for example, if you have a magnet, and the magnet is automatically going to be attracted to a piece of metal, but if you put something to obstruct the magnetic force in between, like a brick, oh, then it will not become attracted. So in the same way, there are so many things that are called anarthas. These are unwanted things within our heart pre preventing us from being able to be spontaneously attracted to the Supreme Lord Sri Krishna. But Srimad Bhagavatam, which Srila Gurudev is explaining to us, has given a process of hearing constantly the glories of Sri Krishna from the lips of pure realized souls, and by this process, all these obstacles that are within our heart can become removed. So in the beginning of the Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, this process is explained in the verses which Srimad Gurudev is now quoting. So here it is telling that Nashta Prayeshu Abhadreshu, the process by which all of these unwanted things, material desires and so forth, can be removed is by doing Bhagavat Seva, service to Bhagavat. There are two types of Bhagavat. One Bhagavat is what we are hearing, this glorious scripture called Srimad Bhagavatam. The second type of Bhagavat is called the person Bhagavat or Bhakta Bhagavat. Uh, that is the pure devotee of Krishna who is completely surrendered to Krishna and has developed pure love and devotion to him. We are very fortunate to be in the presence of such a pure uh, Bhagavat, Bhakta Bhagavat, our beloved Srila Gurudev. So Srimad Bhagavatam is telling, by hearing from the lips of the pure devotee, by serving the pure devotee, 
then the, the things that are, have accumulated within our heart over many, many lifetimes, they gradually become removed. And then the result comes, Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtiki. Now, uh, what is called fixed Bhakti, Bhakti that cannot be wavering at any time, it becomes completely fixed in one's heart. So Srimad Bhagavatam explains, Shrinvatam Sapata Krishna, Punya Shravana Kirtana, Vidyanta Sto Hipadrani, Vidunauti Suhritsatam. By hearing the Srimad Bhagavatam, then that Krishna Katha is Krishna himself, and he comes within our own heart and he cleanses the heart of the devotee. Then, Padara Jastamo Bhava, Kama Lobha, Dayaschaye, Chaita Ekayana Vibham, Sitam Satve, Prasidati. In this material world, all conditioned souls, they are covered. Their consciousness is covered over by different degrees of covering of the modes of material nature. Passion and ignorance. Uh, when one is covered by the modes of passion and ignorance, then so much material lust, anger, greed, illusion, envy, it stays within one's heart, and one cannot realize transcendental truth. But by this process of hearing Krishna Kata, then the lower modes of passion and ignorance, the effect, no longer comes into one's consciousness, and one gradually rises to the mode of goodness, and in that mode of goodness, now he becomes situated in Sattva Gun, and he becomes very happy. This is why Srila Gurudev said uh, in the very beginning of his lecture tonight that he, the whole process to become happy is only by hearing Krishna Kata. So when this hearing of Harikata progresses more and more, huh, then Vidyate Hridaya Granthis, Chidyante Sarva Shamsaya, Chiyante Sasya Karmani, Vrishta Evad Manishvare. Then the, there is a knot within one's heart uh, which is binding one to this material world, binding us to identify ourselves with these material bodies. And that knot keeps us in this material world, lifetime after lifetime, thinking I am this body and everything connected with this body belongs to me. This false illusion of material identity within this world uh, it is the diseased condition of our soul. So now when this powerful transcendental knowledge enters within the heart, then the knot of material existence becomes pierced and we become freed from these material conceptions. All doubts, they become cleared within the heart and one comes into transcendental existence. And the chain of material existence of repeated birth and death, which is caused by our karma lifetime after lifetime, 
Now it becomes terminated. 那么这个生死之恋哈、哦，让我们的累世哈、哦、欲望，对了哈、哦，就生存起来。那么又呢，从高阶的布建者呢去聆听哈利卡卡，那么我们会有一种呢，到了拿手起的情感，也就是皈依的情感。我们会觉得哦，为什么会救我的？我会对，我会做呢，对我的父爱有利的东西，我再会避开呢那些呢不利于我父爱的东西。因为对亏损和侮辱这种亏损的情感，那么呢，就是说我们就能得到呢，逐渐的哈，得到发展了其他的阶段，从 s h r a d a 开始，然后到 Passion c l e a 然后呢就是执行奉献服务哈，还有到呃呃 a n a t o m y v i t y 就是铲除各种恶习啊，然后到 d i s c a n r o c k y 呃，到 Bob 等等哈这些情感。那么对亏损，如果呢？没有呢，侮辱和亏损的仁慈的话呢，我们就不可能获得高阶的联谊的。因为亏损的仁慈是因为呢，侮辱的祈祷。当侮辱祈祷的时候，你就能得到亏损的恩典。But in this world, there are very rare guru. How we can we recognize that he is so guru? Our qualified guru, very hard. But our Vedas, Puran, and the Sastrishti Mat Bhagwat has told the symptoms of a pure guru. What is the symptom of a pure guru? श्रीमान भक्त के दान नाथो महाराज बोले बच्चों महाराज ना मैं कहाँ कहना श्रीकृष्ण की राह हाँ तो इस विषय का ना वो मुझे बनाना दर्द है सुनिए जो गुरु जिसे सुनिए जो पुण्य जो हाँ तो एक गुरु है那么在《雷达经》在《布拉纳经》哈，在呃《寻宝八宝》堂圣女佛教法堂呢，提到了这些呢哈，纯粹的侮辱的他们的身上。我们讲起了安德西亚，给南加纳沙拉克亚，萨苏努米坦塞纳，卡斯马雷，水格雷纳玛，万西卡帕图鲁迪斯查，苏卡什努德格查，帕蒂特纳姆帕布雷迪欧，盖什雷迪欧，玛玛纳玛哈。First of all, before speaking, I wish to offer my most humble dandaka pranams at the blessed feet of my beloved spiritual master. Can you speak Chinese? No, unfortunately not, Sri Guru Dev. Just few words. Sri Guru Dev has ordered that we tell the symptoms of the pure guru. How we can recognize? How Shastra has told what those symptoms are. 那么首先，我向我亲爱的灵性导师哈，莲花族呢，桂林的顶拜。那么，徐的姑爹呢，叫我呢，讲述呢，哈，纯粹的孤鲁他的征兆啊，在经典里面提到的。The scriptures tell us there are three main symptoms by which we can tell the pure devotee, the bona fide guru. 那么经典里面提到的哈，一个呢，纯正无为的灵性导师呢，孤鲁的话呢，他具有了三个的征兆。He has no material attachments or desires. No interest whatsoever in anything of this material world. 那么对于这个世界哈，这尘世间的东西的话呢哈，没有兴趣。Nothing can attract him in in this world. 这个世界的没有任何东西可以吸引得了他。Not even in his mind does anything ever attract attract him. 那么甚至他心意里面哈都没有这种东西的哈，这个吸引力的存在的这东西。And he is completely. Absolutely familiar with Shastra, with the revealed scriptures. 那么这样呢是呢，啊，对呢，启示经典的话呢，哈，完全的通晓。And he can explain them in such a completely thorough way that anyone who has any question or any doubt, he can remove it completely. They will understand. 他以完全透彻的方式哈，阐述经典，任何人有疑问的话呢，都可以呢消除。These two. Symptoms of the three are considered to be external things. They are very, somewhat, although very rare, 
easier to see, ain't it? 那么的话呢，就刚才提到这两个哈征兆的话呢，属于外在的征兆。那么尽管的话，就是说也是很常有的，拥有这两项征兆，但是呢，这是可以辨识、可以看出来的。We can see relatively easily if someone has material desires or attachments. 我们可以呢，就是说比较容易的看出一个人哈，是否呢有一些哈物质的欲望或心腹。Someone does or does not know Shastra, it becomes evident quite quickly. They cannot satisfy, they cannot answer our questions. But the third symptom of bona fide guru is very difficult to perceive. That is, that he has fully realized his relationship, his service with the Supreme Lord, Sri Krishna. He is fully aware of his eternal identity and relationship and service to the Supreme Lord, Sri Sri Madam Kodinda. And with that loving mood and service to the divine couple, that is always flowing in his heart. By the association of such a guru, it may be reflected into our heart. But who can perceive this? Very difficult one. You are a devotee, like myself, you cannot perceive. How to tell? More advanced persons that are being removed from the influence of the three modes of material nature, then they will be able to. As they come into that, into their service, into their association, hearing Harikata from them. These three are the symptoms of the bona fide guru. And scripture says that we should test to see whether we see these symptoms. So to the best of our ability, we, we will look. Still, only by that bona fide Guru's causeless mercy can anything be revealed to us. We can even recognize any of these three characteristics in him at all. I just like to add one thing that Shilabhide was told. You can find it in one very excellent book of his. We hope to have translated to Chinese too. Called Pinnacle of Devotion. That when the devotee is praying from his heart, that Krishna will send him help. He wants to serve Krishna, but he realizes he cannot, he needs help. Like that from the heart was here, and Krishna sends bona fide spiritual master. We are very fortunate to have come into such association. Can we see Krishna being supreme personality of the Godhead? He has also Guru. Sri Ramchandra, he has also Guru Prasista. 
किरण श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु है गुरु ईश्वरपुरी भाई दया जगत गुरु बस इन्हें टू टीच अदर जनरल पर्सन विदाउट द हेल्प ऑफ गुरु विदाउट द सर्विस ऑफ गुरु यू कैनट है एंड विदाउट भक्ति यू कैनट बी है तो ऋषि इन श्रीमद भागवतम दैटदेव ई नारायण सत्यावेश ऑफ नारायण टू डिवाइडेड डेटा जिन फोर फॉर एंड हिट बुक की एक्सेप्ट ऑफ ऑल द वेदाल and made brahma sutra one book <coughs> it was very difficult to understand so he made plan of understanding the sutra he made mahabharat for all but even it was very hard to know from the sutra and in finally he was repenting that i had done so much but i am not happy my soul is not happy what could i do i not happy i don't know in the meantime नाग देवस्थी नाग प्रेम देया एंड फॉर डिफेंस यो जो डिस्ट्रिक्ट ना मैं किस ओर गुरु देव ने ना शुरू चीने सो ना शुरू चीन चुड़ाव दे ये ओ गुरु के पास चुड़ाव ना शुरू बुक नहीं ओप ओ बाकी दे像是尊主巴格瓦姆基什纳、苏拉玛，那么他们都有哈咕鲁、那拉玛的、那拉玛的咕鲁的话呢，是巴基斯坦努尼。那么咕鲁的话呢，也可以说呢，伊斯瓦
，有带领你的话。其实哪个话呢？也显现在众生心中，开穿咕噜哈，内在咕噜的话呢，形象展示。But it's this guru that leads us to the bona fide spiritual master. And at this time, Shubhra is explaining the lila of how Mahamuni Veda Vyasadeva, who Sita Goswami and Srimad Bhagavatam has said that he is an incarnation Shaktivesh avatar of the Supreme Lord himself. He had taken the Vedas, divided into four, Gurudev explained all this. But still, there were some Despondency. He was still somewhat unhappy. No, no, no. 刚才呢，呃，是他特别讲到了哈，原始被呃，是呢，主的一个能量，告诉他神。那么他呢，将给他金分为四部分，但是依然不高兴，所以呢，在做的时候哈，讲到了这点。Because Vedas Vyasa is an empowered incarnation of the Lord Himself. Certainly, He knows all things. He is a self-realized soul. So, when Vedas Vyasa says, "Ha, ha, ha," is a very powerful, very strong soul. So, when he was meditating on what was the cause of the loss of the soul, he was meditating on what was the cause, even though he had thought so very mercifully about the condition of all the living entities in this world, how to deliver them through explaining the Vedas, dividing the Vedas. Writing Vedanta Sutra, Mahabharat, and all these literatures only to save the conditioned souls in this world. How merciful he is! But the age of Kali is approaching, and people in this age. Are very short-lived. They have very small intelligence. It's difficult for them to understand what Vedic Vyas has written in the Vedas, and also in the Vedas, there's so much description in the Karma Kanda and Jnana Kanda sections about materialistic activity, how to gradually develop, and also about moksha, about liberation. But the fact is, the Kali era of people is short-lived. They have very small intelligence. It's difficult for them to understand what Vedic Vyas has written in the Vedas, and also in the Vedas, there's so much description in the Karma Kanda and Jnana Kanda sections about materialistic activity, how to gradually develop, and also about moksha, about liberation. But the fact is, the Kali era of people is short-lived. They have very small So when a sincere disciple just prays within the core of his heart and cries for guidance from Krishna, then Krishna most mercifully appears outside and before him as the liberated devotee, the spiritual master. So the fact that when a devotee is in his heart, when he prays for Krishna, then Krishna most mercifully appears outside and before him as the liberated devotee, the spiritual master. So while Vedas Vyasa is contemplating all these things on the bank of the holy river, while meditating, he got some realization that he had not fully described the wonderful, beautiful pastimes of Sri Krishna in his previous literature. So the fact that Vyasa 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 At that time, his spiritual master appeared before him, Sri Narad Muni. Narad Muni is directly the son of Lord Brahma, the creator of the universe. Narad Muni is the son of Lord Brahma, the creator of the universe. And one of the first and most prominent disciples of Lord Brahma. And Brahma himself accepted Sri Krishna as his guru. So Narada Muni is also described as the descendant from their lotus feet of the instructions emanating from their lotus-like mouths. Even a little contact with any one of these three substances can bring. All benefit to the practitioner. 那么对于修习者来说啊，以这三种因素哈，呃，有一点接触的话哈，都是呢非常有助力的。So Narada did not did not、uh, spend years and years as a brahmachari in the ashram serving. It was just four months in the rainy season, and I think after that, some time in the autumn season, maybe four, five, six months. And by taking their prasad and by hearing their hari kata, because What happened? So come for some gum, I'm a very some judo. Hunting his karma, the sign of the path. Just another sutra, Bhagavad Gita. 
In the association of devotees, we hear about the all potent activities, main form qualities, and pastimes of the Supreme Lord. And those descriptions are very, very pleasing to the ear and to the heart. So by hearing the Harikata from the sages, Nard as a young boy, he quickly progressed from Shraga, Sadhu Sangha, Bhajanatriya, Anartanaviti, Nishta, Ruchi, Ashakti, and he eventually came, he will describe how he even came to the stage of Bhav. So the sages, they took their leave of his mother and him, and they went on their way to versing the globe, teaching. At that time, shortly after that, huh? Ah, uh, yeah. Before they left, <laughs> important point, before the Bhakti Vedantas left, they also initiated, yeah, Satu San for Kumaras. So they gave him mantra, Diksha mantra, and gave him some instructions on how to practice bhakti. Shortly after that, his mother died, was bitten by a snake. And in his family, it was only him, only one person. His mother was very attached to him. So when his mother left, he was feeling that there's nothing left in this world, and he left, even though he was a small boy, he also left his home and started to walk and travel and walk through cities, towns, villages, forests, everywhere, practicing what he had heard from these sages. I'm practicing bhakti in this way, having taken the association of the sadhus and practicing. Thank 
继续哈、啊、梳洗，然后都有一天的话呢，你可以将这个脚哈、啊、放在死神的头上，啊，你可以用你的力量行哈，就是告诉呢传唱我的荣耀。那么之后的话呢，你将得到一个新的身体哈。Okay. Krishna, Krishna Bhakta, Tata Bhakta, Namo Namah. So. First of all, I apologize to the Shri Guru Deva, Sanyasis, Brahmacharis, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming. Your mantra, Sadguru Swayam, Your Guru Sat Swayam Hari. The mantra given by the Supreme, by the Guru Deva, by the spiritual master, is none different than the Supreme Lord. 那么这里面这个世界提到的哈，曼由咕噜哈，随着咕噜的话呢，授予的曼陀罗的话呢，与世尊主本人没有分别。So the Supreme Lord appears in the form of mantra. Therefore, we only have to chant it purely without offense, with prema. Then we can see the istadev of the mantra. The syllables of the mantra reveal itself to us. No need so much speculation, guesswork, imagination. Mantra will reveal itself to us directly. So in a solitary place, by chanting that mantra for one second, Narad Muni had darshan of the Supreme Lord, Narayan. Like a flash of lightning. 哦，这就像哈，呃，闪电一样哈，就是很快的一种的哈，信念。Ability。这种人的 ability 哈，他们。A temporary manifestation in the heart。就是说内心的短暂的闪现。Then he disappeared。然后呢，这个哈，印象的话呢，就消失了。Then Narad became mad, weeping. Oh Lord, come back. Oh Lord, come back. 那么呢，男儿的因此的话，非常的伤心了哈。他说，哦，主啊哈，哦神啊，回来吧，回来吧。He tried to chant, but his mind was reeling. I cannot see that Lord. Then voice came. Nara, you cannot see me again in this life. Because not completely matured in bhakti. Therefore, the Lord gave him a momentary vision to increase his greed and eagerness. Just like when you take a man, an unripe mango or avocado and you put it in a hot place, it becomes ripe. Therefore, by feelings, by feelings of separation, our devotion will mature. Sometimes the Guru manifests to us, then he disappears. Why? To increase our greed. 所以有时候呢，呃，咕噜的话呢会显现，有时候呢会消失，以然后增加我们内心这种渴望。所以呢，男儿的哈，你呢，分明的情感呢，度过他的余生。For in due course of time, his body became mature, and like a flash of lightning and illumination occurs simultaneously, Narad Muni gave up the mature body and immediately assumed the divine transcendental form. 那么呢，时机已到哈，那么就像闪电哈，呃呃，击破哈这个呢，照亮一片，那么男儿的呢，自然的接受了死亡，获得了一个全新的身体。Many people tell us, oh, when you become perfect, you become a zero. 很多人说哈，你完美的时候你是零啊，虚无的。After liberation, you become one with God. But no. 他说你啊，就是说呢，解脱之后呢，你与神是合一的。Mukti, Abhi, Lilanam, Vigraham, Bhagavan, Bajanti. Sri Sankaracharya has written. After liberation, the soul achieves a transcendental form, and he serves Bhagavan. Then, this Sankara Sankara's writing, he says that after liberation, the soul achieves a transcendental form, and he serves Bhagavan. Then, this Sankara Sankara's writing, he says that after liberation, the soul achieves a transcendental form, and he serves Bhagavan. Then, this Sankara Sankara's writing, he says that after liberation, the soul achieves a transcendental form, and he serves Bhagavan. Then, this Sankara Sankara's writing, he says that after liberation, the soul achieves a transcendental form, and he serves Bhagavan. Then, this Sankara Sankara's writing, he says that after liberation, the soul achieves a transcendental form, and he serves Bhagavan. Then, this Sankara Sankara's writing, he says that after liberation, the soul achieves a transcendental form, and he serves Bhagavan. Then, this Sankara Sankara's writing, he says that after liberation, the soul achieves a transcendental form, and he serves Bhagavan. Then, this Sankara Sankara's writing, he says that after liberation, the soul achieves a transcendental form, and he serves Bhagavan. Then, this Sankara Sankara's writing, he says that after liberation, the soul achieves a transcendental form, and he serves Bhagavan. Then, this Sankara Sankara's writing, he says that after li
。他说，其实裤子恩典的话呢，哈，这个说入坟的时候，你信息上呢，向门多些事。So normally he achieved the mercy of his gurus and he achieved his surupsida, but uh, surupsida, surupsida. And that is the form that we see now of Nara with his vina always chanting Shima Nara and Nara and Nara. Famous in the three worlds as the best of the Vaishnavas. He said, "Vyasadev, he saw two two things he saw in his meditation." Vyasadev, in his meditation, he saw. Oh, sorry. Okay. Then now, oh, sorry. Then Vyasadev heard all this story of Nara. He had so much faith in his guru. Therefore. Bhakti Yoga and Manasi Samyak Pranika Yamali Apasya Purusam Purnam Maya Chathada Pasayam Yayo Samhavato Jivam Atmanam Sudhanatakam Parupay Manati Anatam Chakritam Shabhi Pajate Vyasadev saw two things. What did he see? Vyasadev saw two things. First, Narmani blessed him and Bhakti Yoga appeared within his heart. Without becoming Tadakam with Bhakti, you cannot see the Lord of his past times. Therefore, he immersed his mind in bhakti samadhi. Samadhi does not mean to see the white light or to see Sai Baba or anything. Samadhi, you have the same intelligence as your Guru Dev and the Guru Parampara. The same vision comes to you. Therefore, Guru Dev, this is proof without the mercy of Guru, no one can have devotion. Bhakti Yoga, the Manasi Samad Pranaki. Bhakti Yoga and Manasi, Samyak Pranika, Amala. His mind was completely purified. Pasya Purusam Purunam, he saw the Supreme Person. And Maya Chitaka Pasyam. And behind him, in a shamed position, he saw the illusory potency Maya Devi. Maya can never come before the Lord. She always stays behind. Maya cannot go before the Lord. She always stays behind. Maya cannot go before the Lord. She always stays behind. Maya cannot go before the Lord. She always stays behind. Maya cannot go Mother Jasoda was hanging Supreme Lord Krishna. He saw in front that Krishna is taking the shoes of his father Nanda Baba on his head. He took Gopakhan on his head on his third finger and he saw Ras Lila. With gopis and Krishna telling that I cannot repay you gopis, you have left your father, mother, wealth, your shame and everything for me. I cannot do like this. So, by your generosity, you can let me free from this. Free from that, but yet I will be always really sorry. And after that, he saw Brahmargi, Gopi Ji, and other things. And after Dvarka Gila, Mahabharat Deko, and Krishna departing from this world, whole thing he saw. And then he wrote Srimad Bhagavatam. And then he got. Oh, yes. <laughs> 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 
不仅见到了，就见见到了，实际上是罗汉佩奇了。好，他的所有家人时光，包括像周总妈妈捆绑佩奇了，还有佩奇了的话，头顶是蓝的蓝的，妈妈的这个鞋，以及要用左手。这墨子一起过往当山哈，拉开力量哈，与牧牛姑娘一起共舞，等等这些时光。那么薛德贵在提到一个细节，就是佩奇娜对牧牛姑娘哈公平的说了：“我不能够偿还你们，啊，因为你们的话呢，为了我而放弃你们的父母，啊，你们的呃责任，你们的羞耻，你们的贞洁等等。尽管你们有你们的慷慨，你们可以免我这份哈期待，但是我永远哈是就是亏欠你们的。所以呢，在此之后呢，他呢。”写下了 Brahma Kids 哈 ，OP Kids 等等之后，呃，还呢讲到了哈，在库鲁之野啊这些战争呢，以及最后佩奇娜的演技。Therefore, Vyas saw these pastimes thousands and thousands of years before Krishna manifested. 现在 Vyas 这时候呢，在佩奇娜显现的几千年前呢，就见证到了这些未来发生的笑时光。Because the pastimes of Krishna are eternal. 因为实际上的话呢，佩奇娜笑的时光也是永恒的。They are not imaginary or speculation or mythology。那么这种的笑的时光的话，不是呢推敲的，不是想象的，也不是神话。But they can only be seen when one is beyond material nature. That is the fact. 但是呢，只有一个人哈，超越呢物质的哈这个呢呃存在的话呢，他才能够被看见，这是哈真真正的。The God Sama Upo Jiva Atmanam Trigun Atmakam. He saw the spirit soul is actually free from material nature. 他看到了哈，灵魂的话呢，实际上呢是免除一套三种，就是呃，免除这三种的哈这个物质形态的。But because of illusion, he sees himself as part of this world, part of this body. 啊，幻觉的话呢，他认为自己哈是这个呃物质的一部分，那么就是我是这个身体。But by accepting this, he can become free from mind and again engage in the service of Krishna. 通过接受这些教导的话呢，他能够哈再次呢免除于妈雅的影响哈，能够接受呢对自身主的服务。Everything he saw in his samadhi, he compiled. That is called the Sri Mad Bhagavatam. The Sri Mad Bhagavatam is four things. Atho Yam Brahma Sutra Nam Bharata To Vinaya Gayatri Bhasya Rupa So Veda Atha Pani Brimata. It is the explanation of the Vedanta. It is the real essence of the Mahabharata. 也是呢，马哈。我听了很多经典哈利卡巴。But after twelve years, Gandhi said, "Hari Bol, time is finished. Please come out. Please come out." 十二年之后呢，比亚斯杰夫就恳求他了哈，他说时间已经到了哈，请出来哈，请你出来哈。Then Biasa, then in the womb, Sukadev Goswami said, "I cannot. I am afraid of Maya. I cannot come to this world." 那么在啊，娘胎之中的话呢，苏克雷夫·苏尔美就说了哈，他说我不能出去哈，我不想接受哈这个假象力量 Maya 的影响。Then Biasa said, "I promise you, Maya will not touch you." Sukadev Goswami said, "I don't believe you. I only believe Krishna Himself." 那么呢，亚瑟杰夫说了哈，我承诺哈，我向你保证。So Krishna came there. Oh, come out! He took away his Maya, and that second Sukadev Goswami appeared in this world. Sixteen-year-old you. So, then, that time, Krishna just appeared in that place. He said, "You come out." Then, Maya appeared. 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 His father was chasing. Putretti, Putretti, my son, come back, my son, come back. Why? Vyasa is not an ordinary person like us, crying for a child. No, I want to give you the Srimad Bhagavatam. This is a qualified disciple. 实际上，比亚瑟这时候并不像一个普通的哈父亲一样哈，心眼依恋自己儿子，而是想把这部呢哈佛教法堂呢传授给他。The Sukadev Goswami did not hear his words. Only he went directly away. No attachment to anything. There were some young ladies taking bath in the pond. They were, had no clothes on. When they saw Sukadev Goswami, 16-year-old, blackish complexion, like Krishna, very beautiful. But they saw, oh, he is not interested in man or woman. There is no difference for him. Yet they also felt no shyness. 那么当时有一群一群年轻的哈少女呢，在那个池塘里面哈，就是沐浴啊。当时苏克雷夫双女哈裸身走过来，啊，她的肤色呢是黑色的，啊，也是类似 Krishna， 非常英俊的一个少年
，那是因为他们没有男女哈这种观念的，所以他没有男女这种概念，所以这些少女见到他们哈也没有羞耻之感。If we see difference between man and woman, we cannot realize the pastimes of Krishna. That is. 实际上，我们如果能看出有男女之心的话呢，那就不会呢哈，能够呢觉悟到哈 Krishna 的这些哈秘密。And Vyasadev came running behind the ladies, covered themselves. Vyasadev was amazed. I'm like your grandfather's grandfather, and so old, and he's 16 year old, no clothes. You do not feel shy. Why? They said, Maharaj, don't mind. But your son never sees this world, but you see it. All right, how you know we are ladies? Therefore, you see this world, but your son does not see this. 那么当时两小姐一同哈追过去了，但是那些少女哈就把马上把衣服哈就是盖上。那当时两小姐就说了哈，我已经老的足做足以做你们的主妇了哈，你们呢却呢哈要盖上衣服。而我的儿子哈十六岁大，那么年轻哈，那么有记忆，你们却呢哈没有羞耻感。嗯，为什么？他们两小姐 spoke to Shri Bhagavatam to Sukadev Goswami. 那是因为你哈，你你你这你的眼睛哈看到这个世界。有男女之事，有男女之心的哈，所以呢，他们要盖住。最后的话呢，耶稣基督呢，向他传授哈，这部呢，佛教法门。And the great sage Sri Guru Goswami spoke that same Bhagavatam to Parishit Maharaj in the assembly of Namisaranya. 在 Namisaranya 这个森林里面的话呢，苏克德古双米哈这样的。Oh, there at um Sukhthal in Uttar Pradesh, north of Delhi. 啊，现在乌特布拉丁哈，这个呢，北方方哈，就是在这个地点的话呢，呃，这个国双女哈，像普利斯达军呢，传传授哈这本的国家法。In seven days, Sukadev could achieve complete perfection just by hearing Bhagavatam. 所以七天七夜，七天七夜的时间的话呢，普利斯达军哈聆听了这部国家法堂，并且达到了他的完美。If he could achieve the body of a goat in seven days, imagine what we can achieve in six days. <laughs> Who ever hears it today? I said, "Ah, today we can get the body of Buddha. We are here. 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 The prediction mind hearing with complete absorption the word of Sri Sukadev Goswami. That's why seven days he achieved perfection. That's why the prediction mind hearing with complete absorption the word of Sri Sukadev Goswami. That's why seven days he achieved perfection. That's why the prediction mind hearing with complete absorption the word of Sri Sukadev Goswami. That's why seven days he achieved perfection. That's why the prediction mind hearing with complete absorption the word of Sri Sukadev Goswami. That's why seven days he achieved perfection. That's why the prediction mind hearing with complete absorption the word of Sri Sukadev Goswami. That's why seven days he achieved perfection. That's why the prediction mind hearing with complete absorption the word of Sri Sukadev Goswami. I'm very happy that Shriman Padmanam Maharaj, Shriman Vaishnav Maharaj, and after him, Radha Kanta Prabhu, they delivered a beautiful and powerful classes. If you have heard, you can realize. I'm very happy that. How beautiful and marvelous they have spoken. Today our class is finished. Go Pranayama. We have some announcements for the devotees. Translation. A couple of very great and important announcements. Um, tomorrow morning at 7:30, Shri Pad Bhagwan Maharaj will give class here.